In this video, we'll find the molar mass for Fe3PO42. This is iron 2 phosphate. And when we find the molar mass, we have our three iron atoms, and then we have these two phosphate ions, PO4. So we have to account for the two phosphate ions as well. So on the periodic table, we have iron, that's 55. 0.85 and the units are grams per mole. I won't write grams per mole each time. Let's do that at the end. We have three iron atoms. So we multiply this by three and then we're going to add to that these two phosphate ions. So let's first figure out this just one phosphate right here. Then we'll multiply it by two. Phosphorus on the periodic table, 30.97 grams per mole. We only have one phosphorus in the parentheses plus oxygen is 16 0.00 grams per mole, but we have four of these oxygen atoms. So we'll multiply this times four. So now let's put brackets around this. And because this two applies to everything in this PO4, this is the PO4 we figured out. Two applies to the whole ion. We're going to multiply everything by two. So we get this number inside, multiply it by two, add it to the three iron atoms. We end up with a molar mass for Fe3PO42, that iron 2 phosphate, of 357.49, and the units are grams per mole. So if we have one mole of iron 2 phosphate, it's going to have a mass of 357.49 grams. Note that my periodic table, it goes out to two decimal places. If your periodic table goes out more or less, you might have a slightly different number here. This is Dr. B with the molar mass for iron 2 phosphate, Fe3PO42. Thanks for watching.